Hello, welcome. Congratulations, you are here showing up for yourself. I love it and I want you to pat yourself on the back. Any amount of this workout that you get in your body is amazing. Today is a 45 minute workout full body. We're gonna hit those arms, we're gonna hit those legs, we're gonna hit your abs and your butt, but really every exercise full body all the time. So this workout is going to be there for you. And if you cannot do an exercise yet, replace it with something we already did. Let me know what you have questions about in the comments below. I will answer those on the next live Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Welcome to onlineplatesclasses.com, the most supportive Pilates loving community across the globe. Enjoy new weekly classes from our amazing teachers. Download the onlineplatesclasses.com app today. Hello, I'm Lessa Logan. I'm going to guide you through this workout. I'm the co-founder of onlineplatesclasses.com. I've been teaching since 2008, and the reformer was not the first piece of equipment I learned on. Actually, I learned the mat work first. I didn't even know the equipment existed. And actually, the first time I on a reformer, I thought I was going to get flown off the reformer. But I have a new love for the reformer because it really does support my mat practice and my love for the mat. So that's what we're going to focus on today is really connecting to all parts of our body, and then I hope you check out the mat classes that we have on this channel so that you can also see how these exercises support you when you don't have springs. Um, if, if you have questions or worries or concerns about exercise being right for you, when in doubt, leave it out. I believe it is brave and courageous to replace something you can't do with something that you can. All right, let's get started. You're going to have three to four heavy springs on. And um, I'm all of my springs are the same weight. Yours are probably weighted. So I'll always say heavy or medium. Um, but if you are working on a balanced body or a peak, something like that, you're thinking about like three to four heavy springs for footwork. And when we go to two springs, you're going to think a medium and a heavy or two mediums. Try not to go too light. We want the support of the springs. Also, make sure your handles and straps are long enough. See how long mine are. Um, if yours are short, like the handle starts here, it's going to make everything feel a little harder and get more in your neck. With that being said, now let's go. Line on your back, feet onto the foot bar, balls of your feet are on the foot bar, heels are up. They're not in the highest heel, but they're also not dropping down. You want them to be somewhere where you can maintain them and squeeze them tight together. Then double check that your pinky toe is on that foot bar. Press out and bend in. And you want to close the spring all the way. There's a tendency for people to kind of like come part way in, but not get all the way closed. I have what's called long neck springs, so I really have to <laughs> work my springs closed. For three or more of these, before we switch, double check in your body, are you pushing with the back of your legs or are you shoving your knees down? Then come all the way in and keep that same thought onto your arches, feet parallel and together. The back of the legs push away and then we pull in. So. The lower ribs are taking up space. Your arms are pressing down. It's okay if your legs don't get fully straight. It's not about that. It's truly about you <laughs> working from the back side of your legs. I told you, legs <laughs> and full body, right? Onto those heels. So now we'll get a little bit more glutes, hamstrings, inner thighs here. So press the whole heel on the foot bar, push out and in. We'll do eight of these. I love footwork because it's a great place to just kind of notice what parts of your body are participating already right from the get-go without being told and which ones need to be woken up. And then come all the way and go back into the balls of those feet, heels together, press out, and then reach the heels under and lift the heels up. And reach the heels under and lift them up. Two more. Last one. All right, come all the way in. I do love getting the foot bar out of the way. So if you need to sit on up, teaser on up and take your foot bar down or use your feet to take your foot bar down. But let's get it out of the way. For the hundred, you'll place your legs on top of the foot bar and arms come up to the sky. Now, if you want to leave your legs on the foot bar, that's fine. If you can lift them up with me, here we go. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale and curl up, pump your arms vigorously. So ideally your carriage is remaining very still as you pump your arms. If it is bouncing back and forth, double check you can feel these pumps happening from your upper back, from where your muscles around your shoulder blades touch those lowest ribs. And then these legs don't have to be as low as I have them. They can be higher up, but they should be somewhere where you feel them connecting to your center, where you feel those inner thighs working. Inhale for five of those pumps and exhale for five pumps. <sighs> 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 <sighs>
last one and lower everything down. All right, we're gonna take the handles in one hand. We're gonna sit up and we're gonna go down to two springs for our coordination. All right, then, so you're probably on two heavy or a medium heavy. Maybe if you need to, two mediums. You'll pick that spring that supports you the most. Elbows into your side, lift your head and chest up, press the arms and legs out, open, close the legs, bend the knees and bend the elbows and press out, open, close, and bend, and bend. Now, if you're loving this workout, I hope you're subscribed to the channel because we do have other workouts here on the site, including a shorter reformer workout. Two more of these, pressing those arms down, down, down on the mat. Last one, those arms will feel like they're doing chest expansion since you're getting an arm workout along with an ab movement. All right, sit on up. Drop a spring off and sit against your shoulder rest for some rowing. Now, if you've got anything going on with your shoulders, you can do this without the straps or you can do it with light weights, like one or two pounds. All right, squeeze those legs tight together. And if you're feeling this in your hip flexors, let me know in the comments below, we can talk about it. But you wanna squeeze those outer hips in to get those glutes and hamstrings on so you're not in those hip flexors. Take your thumbs onto the handle, reach the arms forward, lower the arms down, lifting up really tall on your back, lift the arms up and open wide to the side. They'll do it again, reach. At OPC, onlinepliesclasses.com, our members get to send in videos of them doing an exercise to get feedback. So if you are like, oh my gosh, am I doing this right? I feel like I'm slouching, I feel like hips are, gripping. I want to see a video of you doing it, but you'll have to be an OPC member for me to do that. In the meantime, drop in the comments what you're feeling. We can talk about it. One more. All right, this is a little bit more of a challenge. You're going to flex your feet. Hands are on the mat. They're going to want to take off early. You're going to keep them on the mat as you round forward, and then they slide along the mat, along the mat, along the mat. They stay along the mat to your heels. When you lift up, the carriage stays very still. You get really tall on your back. You open those arms wide to the side. And again, you round forward, you reach, you lift, and you open. Last time, round forward, reach, lift, and open. All right, sit cross-legged. Push your feet down. If you have handles like me, just flip your hands like that. It makes it really nice. Index thumb, index finger and thumb pressing together. Push the feet down and bend the elbows. So the more you push your feet down, the more you get your glutes to work and it allows you to get your back taller. And then these elbows go nice and wide. So you're working those upper backs, not just your triceps. We don't need to just work our triceps. There's no spot training in Pilates. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Switch the cross the legs, open the arms for hug. I love that in every workout, I can get this full body workout. So if I only have time for one workout in a week, boom, nailed it. <laughs> and you're here, so you're already slaying. All right, hook up those handles. Put a second spring on, we're gonna do a swan prep. If you know the big swan and you wanna do that, you can. Um, I like to always give options. Um, and on my classes at OPC, sometimes we do the swan prep, sometimes I teach the big swan, but with we, Everyone knows that it's important to do the exercise that's the best for you. So you want to make sure your long box is fully on your carriage. If you're working with a reformer where the long box is hanging off when it's in front of your shoulder blocks, see if you can get it over your shoulder blocks. It's a little bit more safe. So then I'm going to lie on my stomach facing the foot bar, hands underneath the shoulders, spin your inner thighs up and reach your tailbone long. So you have a nice long extension here. Then you'll bend your elbows back, lift your chest, and reach, and again, bend the elbows back, lengthen the chest, and reach. So we're just rocking back and forth. Ideally here, you're gonna feel your hamstrings and work the extension up your upper back. You should not be feeling this in your lower back. One more. Awesome, step to the side, drop a spring off, and lie on your stomach facing your shoulder rest for your pulling straps. So shoulders are at the edge of the box. Hands walk up the straps. Now, if you wanna do this with light weights, you can. That's a great way to find the arm back connection and really make this work your whole body. Spin those inner thighs up, pull the arms down and back, open the chest, and then lower those arms down. Now, what I have to do 
is double check because I love to push my ribs down to make this exercise happen. So push your pubic bone down, lift your hip points up, pull the arms back, and then to get higher, go for forward more. So it's actually about the length, not the lift. I know it's not as satisfying, isn't it? But we aren't here to make it look pretty. We're here to make it be strong. <sighs> All right, slide your hands down your leather so that you hands are at the, towards the end. You want your arms to be in line with your shoulders for your T-pull. Palms will face down, pull the arms up and back and then up and forward. I don't do a lot of reps because in Pilates we're trying to do quality over quantity and the more advanced you get, the fewer reps you need, right? Because there's more exercise that we can add into the routine, hop off for backstroke. And if you're really incorporating your full body, three reps is kind of a lot because you're like, oh my God, I need to move on to the next exercise. Um, so if you're not feeling each exercise being a challenge for your whole body, I want to know below. All right, we've got two heavy springs on or heavy medium, right? And then you're going to have the handles behind your back. Sit at the edge. Again, I want that end on top of your carriage so you don't flip your box. Then you work your way to the edge. You lie on your back, you come into a ball for backstroke. Curl that head and chest up, reach your arms and legs up, circle everything around, hold, and bend those knees in. And again, reach it up, everything is up, we circle around. Bend in. Now on backstroke, the up and the open, the carriage doesn't move. It only moves when you circle around. Right, let's do one more like that. Up, open, then the carriage moves. And bend in, reverse it, reach out, circle around, and bend it in, reach, Circle around and bend it at reach. Circle around. Boom. Handles on one hand. Sit on up. Drop a spring off. And lie on your back for a teaser. Now, if you are not able to do teaser with your legs starting below, you can have your knees start into your chest. So I'll show that first. So on one heavy spring, fingertips drag along the floor, like figuratively, and then you just send your legs out and then you can bend your knees in to come down. All right, otherwise, legs are out. Here we go. The arms reach down for you to come up, and then you can lower and lift those arms. Try to get your toes in line with your eyes. So this isn't just an ab exercise. My glutes are working, my inner thighs are working, and my arms are working from my back. Lower everything down, and we come up, and we circle those arms. Get the pinky side of your hand up, 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 up. Yeah, the more up it is, the more of your upper back you're going to be working, not just your biceps or your shoulders. <sighs> One more. Lower it down. All right. If you're ready, we're going to circle those legs and challenge your abs. Ready? Roll it up. Hold. Circle the legs. So squeeze those legs together. Really get those heels tight together. It's like the inner thighs can't wait to get back together. Boom. Roll it down. Toss your handles in the well. Add a second spring. We're gonna stabilize our box. You'll have an opportunity to decide if you wanna keep it as two springs. So hamstring curls. Stay on the box. We'll take this loop through. So you're gonna make short loops. All right, so again, we don't want the straps to be too short. You can see how long mine are. Then we're gonna cross your straps, put the loops on your feet. Then look at the strap that's on top. We're going to slide away from it, point your feet, bend your knees, flip over, and then slide forward, slide forward, get there to where your knees are off the edge of the box. And then if you want to go down to one spring, you can. Two springs is obviously the more ideal one. Start with your knees apart, heels together, point your feet. I try to lift my knees and push my pubic bone down while I lift those hip points up. So I really get my hamstrings and glutes in here, but my stomach muscles are working against gravity. One more like this, and then bring those knees together. And now we're doing parallel. Ooh, that's a different inner thigh muscle. It's a different hamstring muscle. Three more. <sighs> Woo. All right, shake the straps off your feet, hop off, take your box away. If you're loving this, I want to know. You can hit the thumbs up button, of course, but also you can let me know in the comments. It's a lot of fun to hear what your favorite parts of a workout are. Take a pad, put it on your headrest, 
and then your headrest is up, foot bar is up, two springs on, okay? We want this to be supported. It's not about us hitting the wheels. We actually wanna use our legs here. A lot of people make this an arm exercise. It's not, okay? So the hands go on the foot bar with the straightest wrist possible. Pull the foot bar apart so you get the upper back on, and then stand on the balls of your feet, heels up, and then push the carriage out and pull yourself in. So I'm trying to make sure I close my spring all the way and that when I push out, it's not from my shoulders, it's from my stomach and legs. And if that's going well, lift a leg up and be on a single leg. If you're like, are you kidding? <laughs> then don't do that, <laughs> it's the wedge reach. Point through the foot, the leg that's up, and then close your spring, try to bring both knees down at the same time. Take your feet, tuck them under for down stretch, get that pinky toe under. We gotta stretch these feet. It's so good for preventing plantar fasciitis and more things like that. Hands on the foot bar, wrists are straight, chest is forward, push your inner heel back, lift your heart up. One more. Woo, are you using your legs? Did you feel your hamstrings there? I hope so. Lift up. We're gonna do a little upstretch. If you're not doing upstretch, let me show you elephant. You'll just do elephant. I'm gonna join you in elephant in just a second. So with those ribs nice and high, reach the carriage away. So you're continuing to round your upper back as your legs go out, and they can only go as far as you can stand in your legs. <sighs> then bring the heels down, lift the ribs, and again. Hug those legs towards each other. All right, we are doing a single leg. Take the foot behind you, point the foot. It's not gonna go all the way up like an arabesque. We're gonna lift the ribs up and make this a leg and ab exercise, not a flexibility exercise. In Pilates, we're focused on balance, strength, and stretch, not just stretch. Last one. All right, long back stretch. I love this one. If you don't, come to the front of your foot bar and do dips, okay? Like dips at a table or something like that, you know? It's gonna get your triceps and upper back. It'll also prepare you for long back arms. So the hands come on. I'm reaching out of my elbows and pulling this foot bar apart to get my upper back. Then I'm gonna bend my elbows, lower my hips, reach the carriage with my legs, lift up. Can you get those legs to work more? For me, I really struggle to get my hips up, up, up. I gotta use my legs to do it. I tend to wanna use my right elbow, <laughs> reverse. <sighs> and again. <sighs> Ooh, awesome, good, step off. Stomach massage. So whatever springs you put on for footwork, you're gonna do again. So if you did four with me, yeah, we're doing four. All right, you don't have to close your spring here. I want you to focus on your lift. I want you to use the back of your legs. So what I do here is I put my feet up, heels the other toes apart, and then before I press out, I kind of push into the bar to wake this up, back of my legs. So then when I push out, it's hamstrings and glutes, and then I can bring myself into the spring. I can feel the spring find my center, and then I only close the spring as much as I can today keep my hip, my chest up, right? If I, every day is a different day. If my lower back is tighter, I might not be able to come in as much as I am today. And that's okay. It's not about being perfect. That's boring. <sighs> come all the way in. Take one spring off, place your hands back. So if you can't get your hands all the way back like this, try going to the side and then go to the side of your shoulder rest, right? We don't wanna lock the elbows out someday we're gonna take the hands off the back. Oh yeah, hold yourself up. So again, pushing with the back of your legs. Feel like you're picking your armpits up. You're gonna feel your stomach muscles trying to hold your back up. You feel your upper back working to open your chest and the back of your legs are working here. Then come in, take a spring off. Reach those arms forward and press out and in. Standing on the whole ball of each foot especially as you bend your knees. Now we're gonna add that twist. Twist open and come in. And twist open 
So the arm that's reaching forward is reaching forward so much your chest doesn't lean back. <clears throat> and the arm that's reaching back is just following your twist. We don't twist from our shoulder. Ah, oh, awesome. Hop off. So I'm gonna show you a tendon stretch prep and then I'm gonna do tendon stretch for those who wanna join me. So the prep is heels off the carriage, head hangs, hands on the carriage, lift your ribs like you did an elephant and tap your hands, okay? This is great, because you can get used to that long neck. Then when you're ready, hands go here, lift your ribs, and lift your ribs. So standing on those arms, and lift your ribs, and lift your ribs, and lift your ribs. Uh, yeah. Two more. <coughs> Last one. <coughs> Wonderful. Come in. All right, foot bar goes down. Some people like to leave it up. Just get it out of the way. It's really nice. Makes it clean. Means you're not gonna hurt yourself. Knock into it and then grab your box and put it on your shoulder rests. Now, if you have a pole, you can use a pole. If you don't have one today, I don't have mine today, so we're just gonna skip it. But you want a sticky pad if you have one because it's gonna keep you from sliding around on your box. Then your feet go into your strap and you're gonna have your feet parallel pushing apart. So right here, go ahead and without pushing the knees apart, push your thighs apart and feel your outer hips turn on. Yeah, feel your glutes turn on, cool. So a lot of people think that short box is more of an ab exercise. You should feel your glutes and your hamstrings and then abs, okay? So here we go, we round back as far as we can keep ourselves from sliding around. So as you round back, if your legs come with you, you've gone too far, okay? My legs are reaching away as I round back. If you can go into extension without your legs narrowing, go for it. You don't have to though. Awesome. Lift up, hook your thumbs. So now, look at the tip of your nose. I know it feels weird, you're looking a little cross-eyed. And then lean back, and lift up. And push those legs apart, lean back, and lift up. Two more. Last one. Woo. One big side to side. This is not a side bend, this is a big side to side. So we're not going down. I guess it's not not a side bend, but it's definitely not a down bend. It's an up and over. <laughs> Twist and reach. My husband loves when I use a, a, a double negative. <laughs> it's not not. Uh, twist and reach. Last time each way. Okay, if that was fun, we're gonna go around the world. If that wasn't fun, you're gonna do that again. <laughs> Here we go, and you're gonna let me know in the comments below so we can talk about it on my next slide. Twist, open up, reach the other side and come up, and unwind. Twist, open up to the other side, and up. Woo, awesome. Tree. Now, don't stop here, don't skip this. I know not a lot of people like tree. You can let me know in the comments below if you love it or hate it, but we're doing it. Sit up really tall. If you did single like elephant, you've already done a tree. Okay, straighten and bend the leg. Walk up to the ankle, flex and point, and pull your head to your knee, and walk down, and walk up. I promised you, arms, abs, glutes, legs, and a full body workout. So do you see how we're using all of that here? Arms working from your back, abs taking you up and down, legs reaching. <coughs> they are reaching. <laughs> so lots of strength happening there. Other side. Straighten and bend. Walk up to the ankle, flex and point. Head to the knee. Walk down and walk up. And walk down and walk up. Woo! Once more. Did you ever notice you have one side that slays and the other side's like, what do you want me to do? Okay. Side sit up, so one foot's under the strap, one leg comes here, the knee goes in line with the hip, and the foot can just 
be inside the inner thigh. You don't have to hook it or anything. And then I take my hand on my headrest just so I can lean out. Now push that heel up. You should get really tight in the strap, right? You should be leaning out here. Now you can just practice like lifting the arm and putting it back down. That's gonna work your abs a lot. Otherwise, hands behind your head, down and up five times each side. So the glute of the leg that's under the strap is working while my abs are also working. <sighs> Awesome. Other side. Lean it out and up and down. Now, I love to have my classes flow and keep moving. The reason is, is that every exercise builds us up for the next one. If I'm going faster than you want to go, you'll do extra of the exercise we're on and you'll skip the next one. You get to choose your pace. Remember, it's brave and courageous to repeat what you can't do. <laughs> Replace what you can't do with what you can and repeating is always an option. So your straps should be ready for our short spine. So you'll hook those up. If short spine is not in your practice today, rolling like on a ball on the mat is a great replacement or anything we've done that's a challenge for you. The spring should already be ready with two heavy springs from our last exercise. And you're gonna lie on your back, your headrest is down, that's a safety, okay? Then take your straps, lift your hips, feet into them, heels together. Now we've been here before in this frog position, coordination, footwork, stomach massage, all of them, right? So you already know how to do this. You're having your arms down by your side, pressing down, Push the legs out like you did in your footwork and your stomach massage. Stand in the back of those legs as you lift your hips overhead. Then you bend your knees and you roll your spine down. And again, press out. Lift the hips. Bend the knees. Roll it down. One more. Lift the hips. Bend the knees. And roll it down. Amazing. All right, hook up your handles and then step off to the side. Keep those two springs on. We're gonna do some chest expansion kneeling. You don't have to do this with the straps. You can do this with weights if you're a little nervous to be on kneeling on top of your carriage. Now you'll grab your straps. Easier is to be in the shoulder rest. You can also do it back here hooking. Um, I, I prefer it up here. <laughs> I think it's hard enough. So pressing your feet down, these hips need to come over those knees. Pull your arms straight back, straight wrists, look both ways, and then bring those arms forward. And again, pull it back, look, look, arms forward. And again, pull, look, look, one more time. Awesome, woo. All right, add a third spring. Yes, I want it heavy, <laughs> okay? The reason is, is that you actually want that weight of the spring to support you in your practice. So you walk your hands up the straps, hips over the knees. And then as we lean, 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 lean back, we're in a tall back. Remember our flat back on our short box? Same thing, we're just bringing the hips with us this time. Well, we brought the hips with us, we're bringing the thighs with us. Reach those knees down and lift it up. Reach them down and lift. If you know the extension here, you want to do it, you can join me. If you don't, take a look at it <sighs> and then see if it's something you want to do. How was that swan prep we did earlier? So you go back to where you can hold yourself up. The lower back stays there and the upper back extends. <sighs> if when you go back, your lower back pushes through, omit it, talk about it <sighs> because we might just need to build your center up a little bit more. Now, step off to the side, hold onto your handles, go down to one heavy spring. So here's the deal. We are gonna do arm circles, but if you look down, you're gonna fall down, okay? You're gonna look up the whole time. So place your feet like you did for your down stretch, and then go ahead and sit back for a second, make sure your pinky toes are where they're supposed to be. Put your hands in front of your hips, and then come up. Cool, so now our hands are here. They're never gonna go behind our hips after this. Ready? Three circles or ovals <laughs> in each direction. Pinkies up the whole time. So work your arms from your back. Your center pulls back with every time you open the spring. And guess what your glutes and hamstrings are doing? Working hard, pushing this carriage out. So it's not just your biceps, because it's not just your biceps. <laughs> Ideally, 
we work it all. All right, drop those off. Headrest is gonna stay down. We're gonna add a spring and we're gonna do corkscrew and tick tock, okay? So lying on your back, hold your shoulder rests. I have handles on mine, and then take your legs up. Then squeeze those heels together. Take your legs around, around, and up. And then around, around, and up. So we're going three times each direction without arching our lower back. Eyes looking straight up so that you're not straining your neck or lengthening your neck in the wrong way. You want to have a little bit of space behind your neck and your headrest. After three of those, we do TikTok. The legs will go to the left and we'll look to the right. And then we come to center and we look to the left and the legs go to the right. <sighs> it's a nice big twist. <sighs> if you like spine twist on the mat, this is for you. <sighs> One more time each way. Awesome. Hop off. Knee stretches. Okay. Full disclosure, I really was hoping that my teacher would always forget knee stretches when I was learning Pilates. I didn't know that they ended up at the end. I didn't realize it was an order at the time when I was a student. So I was like, oh, maybe she forgot those. She never did. They were at the end. <laughs> so here we go. Um, we're gonna do round, flat, and knees off, okay? So the hands are gonna go on the foot bar. You're gonna sit back towards your hips, rounding your spine, and pull this foot bar apart. Now, wherever your hips are, they're gonna stay, and the legs are gonna reach and reach. Inner heels back, ribs up, and reach. Mm -hmm. One more. Now you reverse the curve. So we're never shoving the pelvis down. It's all the legs, okay? So your abs and your arms are holding you up so the legs can move freely. So you gotta stabilize your center using your stomach muscles so you can work your inner thighs, hamstrings, and glutes. All right, now round your back, lift your knees off. Woo, if you can't do that, you put one foot on the front of the carriage and you lift one knee off, okay? It will look like that. Here we go, that was your intermission. <laughs> Knees off and go. Either five on both legs or 10 on two. Legs are working towards each other even though they're apart. Back is round, knees hover off the carriage two inches. <sighs> Woo! The hardest thing there is closing the springs all the way. <laughs> Add your footwork springs back on. We're in the home stretch, babe. <laughs> we are, okay, so. You've gone all this far. Let's keep going. Parallel feet. Press out with the back of your leg. One heel under, one heel up. Let your heart sink down. So what I love about running is that it's the first time since footwork that we get to feel our entire back on the carriage. Be back between the shoulder rest and the foot bar. What does it feel like? Do you feel warmer? Do you feel stronger? Pilates is a mind-body workout. I've told you that before. So I want you to get that. I don't want to over-talk you and over-correct you so you never actually get to see, like, oh, how far have I come? Take your feet wide on the foot bar. Lift the pelvis. Press the arms down. And push out. And in. You don't have to get to straight legs. I want you to feel where you need to stop. So push with the back of your legs. And pull it in. So I can only go out as far as I'm not locking my knees or shoving them down and staying in the back of my legs. One more. Awesome, okay. Step off. Now, we're going to go down to two springs. And if being on your knees is hard, go down to one be kind to your knee and you can do an Eve's lunge, okay? But ideally you're on two springs on both knees and you bring one foot forward and you bring your hip forward, okay? So we're not hanging out in our lower back, but you are gonna pull your hip points up so that you're stretching the front of your hip and then the back leg is gonna push back. So this front leg isn't doing anything except for like a kickstand. So push with the back leg. I don't need to see how good your splits are here. I'm sure your flexibility is impressive. I can do them too. I wanna see your strength here. So push with your inner heel back. 
All right, one more. Now take a brief moment to take your arm up to the sky and side bend over towards your knee while you lift your frontal hip points up. Good. Now you can stick with that or you lift the knee up, you turn the foot down and you turn it out and now you're in a lunge. And again, we push with the back leg only. The front leg is good to go. It's standing on the hamstring and glute. Back leg is pushing with the hamstring and glute. Then if you want more, you lift up and you're in this nice lunge. And again, we push with the back leg. Then come down and we get to switch legs. Ooh, if you did that right, your standing leg was working. <laughs> All right, without pushing. Here we go. Push with the back leg, lift the frontal hip points up. <sighs> frontal hip points up, it's such a good stretch. Doesn't have to be huge to get a really strong muscular stretch. And then turn that, oh, hold on, we gotta do that stretch. As I say stretch, here we go. Oh, this is so good. When you lift your hip point up, so don't let it hang down. If it's like a little headlight, it pulls up with you. <laughs> All right, turn that foot down and then we lunge out. <sighs> All right, and then we come up. If you did that on the first side. <sighs> so at OPC, at onlinepliesclasses.com, every week we actually release a new 30 minute reformer workout and every month a 50 minute reformer workout and they all have themes come all the way down <sighs> turn around and do your Russian splits they all have themes because those themes are based off of the members questions so that the exercises teach you how cool is that so now with Russian splits you're on two springs stand in the center of your carriage let your head hang and put a foot back so it's turned out do you see that it's turned out on the foot bar then I lift my other leg up arch comes over the crease and I come into a lunge and then we straighten well we bend and reach our legs somewhat towards straight then you stand in the lunge and you come up maybe if you want to stay down you can I know it's a little scary to come up and again when you're in OPC I can see your form if you want to submit a video which is fun because then you can get feedback and you're not guessing am I doing this right then you put your heel into the a crease and you push out and you pull your ribs up and you push out and you pull your ribs up and if you don't have a classical reformer like me that's okay we have members who have every kind of reformer we know how to adjust you or a reformer to stay with the class step that foot back then your foot bar foot down and we switch legs so safety first back foot on then your front foot come into your lunge and reach and reach <sighs> then stand on it come into your lunge and come up only a few more exercises to go your full body 45 minutes it's happening you're doing it <sighs> and even if you're like oh my gosh leslie you move a little faster than i can that's okay you can omit you can slow down also it's important to know that sometimes we try to get a little perfecty so your front foot is uh, forward more in your straight legs. Sometimes you get a little perfect-y without Pilates. It's not, per it's not supposed to be perfect. It's not supposed to be Instagrammable. It's supposed to be strong. And so sometimes we move too slow, thinking that that's going to allow us to get it. But really, it actually keeps us from being in those muscles because our muscles don't have that endurance yet. Now, you can get rid of your pad and you're gonna take your foot bar down and you're gonna take it down to one spring. So one heavy spring, do not be on a light spring here, okay? And then you'll stand on the carriage, okay? And then you're gonna step your foot on to the frame and heel toe your other foot out. All right, now your legs are, now if you can't do the shoulder rest, by the way, just like I just did, you can narrow in. Some days I'm here, <laughs> And sometimes I'm here and that's, we just, we get to go where our body allows us that day. So we're not concrete. It's not the same every day. Take your arms out, drop your tailbone down. Both legs push out, both legs bring it together, close the spring. So it's not just the carriage leg that's going out and in, this is not like a skateboard. Both legs push apart, both legs bring it together. Both legs push apart, 
both legs bring it together. Two more. Hold it on this last one. You can keep going out and in or if you want more already, lean your chest forward and then round your spine. Now drop your tailbone between your feet and roll up. And then with your tailbone down, reach your arms forward, lift your heart, open the arms, close the spring, keep it closed. This is the hard part. Keep it closed, keep it closed, lean out, around, keep it closed, keep it closed, keep it closed, lift your chest, open the arms, heel, toe, in. Ha! Oh, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, so take your foot out, heel toe, heel toe. Go all the way out to where you were before. Both legs, feet are parallel. A lot of times people like to turn one foot out. It's both feet parallel and reach. You gotta lift your inner arches up too. <sighs> Promised you, full body. Doesn't this feel full body? Oh my God, thank God for my stomach muscles, my upper body lifting. It's helping me close the spring. Okay, stay out, hold it. Now you can do what we did before, you twist and you reach. Now I have to lift this opposite hip up so I don't dip down. Open up, unwind, twist the other way. Lift that hip up, unwind, close the spring. Twist, ah, lift it up. This is the hard one. Twist, oh my gosh, lift and heel, toe, in. <sighs> All right, step down. Here's what I want you to do. Bring your heels together, toes apart. Stand. All right. Do you feel your back all of your legs working? No knee locking, right? Oh, do you feel that? Do you feel like your chest is open? High five yourself. You did it. Um, it's so important to me that you, I get this into you. It's not about being perfect. Slow doesn't equal controlled. More reps doesn't mean harder. All right accessing your entire body in every exercise is the goal. Spending time with your mind and your body going, huh, can I, do, I didn't do that. Where am I feeling this at? And getting feedback on that, that's the goal. That's what we're here for. So where you, where I said, I want you to feel this and you didn't, I don't want you to go, oh, there's something wrong with me. No, there's not. You're amazing. You're exactly the way you're supposed to be. You're going to put in the comments. When you did stomach massage, you said you feel the back of your legs. I don't. I feel my hip flexors. What do I do? All right. Also, I would love for you to check out onlinepliesclasses.com because we love, myself and the four other teachers, absolutely love supporting people's practice. No matter who you are, no matter what level you are in your Pilates practice, no matter what reformer you have, we wanna help you because here's why. We know the difference that this makes in your life. We know when you take time for yourself, you are a better person. When you prioritize you, you are. At OPC, we hold you accountable. Every single week, we take a class away. So yes, here on YouTube, you can take this class as many times as you want. We've got shorter classes you can take as well. We've got stuff on the mat, chair, Cadillac, all of it. But there's no one holding you accountable to show up and press play. At OPC, every single Tuesday, a new class drops. We take the old one away. So you will show up at least one time for some amount of minutes to take that class because you don't want to lose it. Every single month, we drop a longer class. So if you're here, it's because you like a longer workout. We drop a longer workout on the reformer. We theme it to the mat class as well. And if you've accessed the other equipment, you can check out those ones. They're all working together. Each theme is based off of you. It's based off of the members, the questions, the things that you need to work on, because we know that each exercise supports the other one. So if you're struggling with an exercise right now, one, it's because you need it. And two, we have to build your strength up. And we use other exercises in the modality to do that. So it's not about just being rep repetitive about the exercise. That's not going to work. It's not about shaming yourself or judging yourself. It's about getting support on your practice, getting your questions answered. We could look at your form and then you can start to really hone in as your personal practice. It's our goal at OPC. So check out onlinepliesclasses.com slash YouTube to get our trial offer. Check us out. Let us know who you are. And if you have questions, you can join us every Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Thank you so very much for being here. I hope you've already liked and subscribed and hit the little notifications. Never miss a class or video from us. Have an epic day.